what's up my fellow chili heads? So I'm coming back at you with another pod review. Um, this one's a little bit special. Uh, usually I get uh, the normal stuff, uh, you know, the seven pots, the scorpions, and all those other ones that you can kind of find floating around, or some crazy crosses that people are starting to develop in their backyard. Uh, but this one is a little bit different. This is the brown maruga scorpion. Uh, these are unreleased, developed by Judy at pepperlover.com. Um, and this one happens to be grown by Steven. Now this isn't the largest pod he had on his plant, but this is the best um, phenotype, best looking Maruga, uh, or brown Maruga that he has. So we all know that the, uh, the red Maruga has the potential to, uh, to reach over 2 million uh, Scovilles. So um, the brown Maruga, from what I've heard from a lot of people that have reviewed it, is, uh, is up there in their hottest pepper of all time. So let me cut this bad boy open and see what I'm working with. Go right down the middle, so I can get a nice pod shot inside. Already, my knife is soaked. <laughs> wow, this thing is covered in oil. Ton of placenta. Let's see. I don't even know how well my camera focuses. Um, but let's see if you can't get a check. Check that out. Uh, really really gnarly this thing is just filled with oil dripping uh, kind of a uh, muted scent almost nothing uh, too bright or too florally just or it's also a little windy out here so um, it might be dulling my senses a bit but uh, looks really beautiful inside uh, unfortunately I will not be uh, uh, hand the seeds off of this one yet you're gonna have to stick around until judy is uh ready to sell this she's uh developed it on her own so it'll just be a little bit uh, longer um i've seen a lot of people start reviewing it so i'm guessing uh seeds should be available at some point in the near future so uh let me uh, go ahead and take some pictures and i'll be back in just a second all right so uh as you can see in those pictures those are pretty <laughs> freaking gnarly pods so I'm gonna do what I uh, always do. I'll pick the one that's uh, gnarlier and eat that. Now that the half that's gnarlier and eat it. But today I'm gonna eat both. That's a lot of pod. <laughs> Never eaten a whole one like that before. <sighs> hmm. So, uh, not immediately heat until I started swallowing. And right now it's just... <clears throat> it's just everywhere. <clears throat> oh my god. Hmm. really hot oh man my mouth is just like on fire oh, more mouth burn lips that one's, oh, this is hot oh my god my tears are already flowing oh my god That's panic mode if I've ever been at it. Shoes coming off. God. Sweet baby Jesus. Oh, six pound, five ounce. Baby Jesus. Oh, watching out on us. Tears hurt. My head hurts. My mouth hurts. Throat hurts. Ah. Really fidgety. <laughs> of course, the friggin' sun has to come out. Ah. 
Oh man, that's hot. Oh. That'll make you want to slap your mother. Not for real. Sorry, Mom. Oh, God. I don't think there's anything that I could do to avoid this pain right now. My head feels like my hat's still on. My legs are seizing up. Hands, mouth, face. I can't even talk, man. You're gonna have to just like watch. Throat pain. Extremities. My balls feel like they're shrinking up into my body. Head tingling, mouth tingling, chin. Unbelievably hot. Oh man. Hands. Wow. Oh man, talk about meeting your maker. I just want to sit in a cold bath. I can't even like open my hands. Stop. <laughs> Starting to come down just a little bit. Oh man, look at my face. This is not fun. I can't even like push the home button on my phone. Slide. Oh man. I feel like Jim Carrey and Liar Liar. I can't even talk. I just want to let loose a string of curse words right now. It tells me like it's coming down, and there's like again. Oh man. Wow. Wow. I want to bring this back to like the... The only two peppers that have ever made me do this is the butch tea. My mouth is numb, so if, you, if this side of my mouth is droopy, <laughs> oh, much better. <clears throat> God. The only two peppers that have ever made me do this are the uh, Butch Tea and the Jonah. And undoubtedly, this is hotter. So... For all you naysayers out there, naysayer, naysayers, I hate the whole friggin' thing, okay? It's possible. So, unfortunately for me, but fortunately for you, I kind of have to start my baseline over, which means I gotta go back and eat some ones that I've already eaten. 
to see where I'm at. <sighs> oh man, sorry I can't talk, but <sighs> this thing is just miserable. Eight minutes of burn for me on this one. And as the sun kind of peeks into the clouds, I kind of, my body kind of rises above this. It starts to feel happy. Terrible. I'm about 8.40 in. I'm going to have to hit the uh, pause button for a minute. Because I'm going to want to come back and talk about this. So Give me a couple minutes to kind of compose myself. And I'll be back to do what I do best. Talk. Thanks. Alright, so I'm back. It's been about like 15 minutes or so. I feel like, oh my god, I, I, I still like feel the rush, like the, not the rush, but the after effects, just like the calm, post-coital, like I like to refer to it as, like I haven't felt this for a long time, um, with the pepper. <sighs> I had a little bit of a stomach uh, twinge when I went inside, but I ate a half a banana and chugged some milk, um, laid down on the, on a, the bed for about five minutes then popped up I, I, I would have laid a little bit longer but I had uh, I look like I got flour all over me it's because I've been baking bread all day so um, I, uh, I had a, a loaf of uh, um, challah bread to put into the uh, into the oven making French toast and the only way to do it is to make it with your own bread so um, anyways back to the pepper uh, Judy from pepper lover um, the brown maruga here come my dogs of course the brown maruga, uh, I mean, I'm pretty, I'm usually pretty talkative on my reviews. I like to, you know, uh, you know get into the um, explanation of it and uh, discuss what I'm going through, but this one just it w wasn't going to friggin' happen, man. I, I was, I was smoked, it was hot, it w there was no way around that, that ridiculous heat. So, um, tier one heat, uh, tier two flavor, uh, I didn't really get a chance to, to describe the flavor, but it was, uh, a bit fruity, crisp, um, very, very clean pod. You know, not the most amazing flavor in the world, but definitely a uh, uh, tier two level. Pretty, pretty good. Um, and everything I hear from everybody, this uh, the vigor and the production is tier one. Um, everybody who grow, who has grown this or who has helped Judy grow this strain out, um, has uh, uh, reported back that it's a massive producer. It takes a little bit longer for the pods to ripen when they're on the plant. But uh, it is a massive producer, so whenever this one comes out, it's definitely something you should probably uh, try to get into your garden. So that was a uh, inventful pod review. I appreciate you guys taking the time out to watch. Thanks, Steve. Um, I, uh, I have a couple more surprises in store for the next uh, few days. I don't know how long it'll take me to recover from this one, but uh, I got a couple more pods I'm gonna go through. So thanks for taking the time out to watch. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them. Thanks.